Well, moving forward after a devastating blast today, it's really a, a full circle moment for a burn survivor who is now reopening his business more than two years after a natural gas explosion at a Chandler strip mall. Really a story of a triumph over tragedy. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke live this morning. Uh, Jordan, you're following up on this, and it actually also coincides with the start of Burn Awareness Week. It sure does, and I have the perfect person to talk about Arizona Burn Week, and that's Rex Albright with me. I want to thank you so very much for joining us. We're outside All American Eyeglass Repair, where Glenn Jordan had worked. If you remember back in oh, August yeah. of 2021, there was that explosion, and Glenn survived all of this. When you hear of somebody, and it was described to me as Glenn as a unicorn, because he's such a special person. Not only did he recover from all of these injuries, but he was able to raise thousands of dollars through a pull-up challenge. How do you describe Glenn Jordan, a burn survivor, from that 2021 explosion? So when I think of Glenn Jordan, the only thing I can think of is inspiration. I mean, that gentleman comes into our office as a volunteer. He started his burn journey as a, he's just going to work like we all do every day. We just show up at work and we don't expect anything to happen. Something horrific happened and he walked out of that opportunity and he said, you know what, I'm gonna make a difference. And he has done such a tremendous job healing himself, but also healing a community around it. All right, I can't do but maybe one whole pull up yourself. Nope, I'm out. If you pull out a pull up bar, I'm gone. All right, so we're going to do pull ups <laughs> in the 6:30 hour. No, I'm kidding. So, but if but the fact that he was able to raise that much money, forty thousand dollars like that, and I just heard that there was a law firm that did ten dollars a pull up, and it's got to be a huge motivating factor for this guy who's a CrossFit enthusiast. Where does all that money go? Well, that goes to other people like him. It's called Camp Courage. We take children from the state of Arizona and bring them to uh, Camp Courage in Prescott in June. Uh, Glenn volunteered this year for us at camp and he actually came out and he worked with us on the children and he heard a lot of stories and he said I got to come back and do something and so he asked us about what he could do and we just told him you know just be an inspiration story and he took that as a personal challenge say I need to send kids to camp and so he raised the money to send more kids to camp this year than we've ever sent. Well a big thanks to Glenn and somebody that we want to celebrate in our Arizona community for stuff like that but it's Arizona Burn Week this yes, week right and so with that what are some things that you think that households need to be reminded uh, you know we think about ourselves we think about maybe our smoke detectors what is it what is Arizona burn week well, Arizona burn awareness week is really about trying to go around your in your home mainly and just look around at opportunities to make yourself safe uh, kitchens are a high danger area for children especially and adults but walk around there and see where you're cooking and how you're cooking and keep the kids away from the stoves keep your crock pots when you have the uh, cords plugged in on the counters not hanging over the counter so children don't pull on those cords they're all curious and they want to be involved we know that you want to get your children uh, you know with you and they stay with you when you're in the kitchens but remind yourself everything in there is hot and dangerous so pull them back a little bit take your smoke detectors but if you push the button it might test well but you got to remember those sensors inside are getting dusty and older so after eight or ten years even if they test well you might want to pull them off and restart if, you know, an important question at abc 15 typically when we're working with any sort of a foundation or organization is what do you need <laughs> what do you need right now what does the arizona burn foundation need so that they can help whether it be a camp courage whether it be with smoke detector installation or just downright awareness this right. probably helps a little bit well what is it that you need what we need is people to understand that burn injuries happen and they're usually unexpected and traumatic so we need you as a community to wrap around a burn survivor if you see someone who has a burn scar don't don't think of them as unusual or unique. Think sure. of them as just another person just like you are enjoying yeah. a day out in the Arizona sun or out in Arizona weather. So just just be respectful of everybody no matter what they have done physically uh, with themselves. Two, uh, you could always volunteer. We need smoke detectors in homes. We install over 2,500 smoke detectors oh. a year in Arizona, free of charge to the residents. We organize with the communities, but we need humans to stand up and hold on their ladders and put those alarms in. So mm -hmm. please reach out to us and find a smoke alarm walk. We usually have one in communities around you in spring and, uh, and in fall. So we're already starting that process for this year. So be a volunteer. Or if you think, you know what, I have a little bit more to give, once you come out, be a volunteer at a camp or a retreat and help us explain to people about what it is to be a burn survivor and how to help us organize those events. Rex, I want to thank you again. Coming up a little bit later, we're going to talk a little bit more about what happened over in Surprise. Actually, last week we were there last Friday with the Red Cross and they're doing a smoke detector installation out there as well. Um, but later today, all-American eyeglass repair, a full circle moment for Glenn Jordan, the burn survivor that he is, as that will finally be reopened uh, after more than two years since that Chandler explosion. And what a cool moment that will be for our friend and our champion in Glenn Jordan. But for then, we'll send it back to you guys. We're out in Chandler over by Ray Road and Rule. We'll send it back to you guys. Certainly a local hero, right, for so many reasons, Jordan. Thank you.